Hi boys and girls, you ready for activity number five? Number five is the M in STEAM and M stands for math. And one of the things we talk about in math are geometric shapes. What do we mean by geometric shapes? We mean things like squares, rectangles, circles, ovals, and triangles. And you'd be surprised if you look around, there's all kinds of geometric shapes almost everywhere you look. Momentarily, I'm going to give you a challenge. But right now, we're in the gift shop of the Northern Central Railway of York. And we're going to see how many geometric shapes we can find just in the gift shop. And the first one we're going to talk about are squares. And a square is a shape that has all its sides the same length. Let's take a look at the tablecloth. Can you see the squares on the tablecloth? There's black squares, there's red squares, and there's black and red squares. Let's see if we can find some other squares. I'm gonna point right over to the cabinets on the wall of the gift shop. And if you take a look at those cabinets, you'll see every one of them is a square. All the sides are the same length. Our next geometric shape is rectangles. A rectangle is sort of like a square, but it's a little bit different. Let's take a look at our rectangle right near the desk in the gift shop. How about this sign right here? If you look at the sign, you'll see two sides are the same length and the two other sides are a different length, but the same. This is an example of a rectangle. Here's another example of a rectangle. Take a look at the slats in the front of the desk. You'll notice that the two long sides are the same length and the top side and the bottom side, different length, but they're both the same. That's a good example of a rectangle. And here's one of the neatest examples of the rectangle, and that's the front door right into the gift shop. You'll notice that the front door has two sides, the left side and the right side, they're the same length, and two other sides, the top and the bottom, they're a different length, but they are the same. That's a good example of a rectangle. Our next geometric shape is one you see almost every day, circles. And boy, are there a lot of circles here in the gift shop. For example, look at the bell. Big circle at the bottom of the bell. Or how about this light up here? If you take a look, nice big circle. We also have some little circles. How about my coffee cup, okay? Look at that circle right there. And you'd be surprised if you look around your house, all of the circles that you might find. And we'll also see some circles on a train too. So stay tuned, we'll be right there. And now, ovals is our next geometric shape. An oval is sort of like a circle that's been squashed a little bit. If you've ever seen an egg, you've seen an oval. Looks like a squashed circle. Let's take a look at the sign in the gift shop and let's see if we can find a couple of ovals on the sign. Here's an oval right here, right in Northern. See, it's sort of squished from side to side. Oh, look right here, right in York. We've got an oval with the letter O. Again, it's sort of been squished a little bit. And if we look down here at number, the abbreviation for number, N-O period, we can see that O and it looks like it's been squished. That's an oval as well. But now I'm gonna show you the biggest oval you have ever seen. And it's right above me. It's on a train track. Watch this. Our next geometric shape are triangles, okay? Let's take a look at this right here, this arrow on the sign. If you take a look, it has three sides. Side here, a side here, and a side here. When it has three sides, that means it's a triangle. Now here's some really unusual triangles that I discovered. If you look up at the ceiling, at those X crossings, you'll see some triangles up there too. I almost missed those. Those are cool triangles. Okay, we've taken a look at all the geometric shapes. 
right here in the gift shop. But now I'm gonna give you a challenge. When you get on the train or when you're waiting for the train to start up, here's your challenge. How many geometric shapes can you find on the train? Well, let's take a look at a photograph of, of number 17. And I'm gonna see how many geometric shapes I can find in this photograph. How about circles? Oh, wheels. Look at those circles right there. Or the headlamp, there's a nice circle. Or the smokestack has a circle. How about rectangles? Where can we find rectangles? Well, I found a rectangle over here. Look at the doorway. That's a rectangle. Remember our definition of a rectangle? Oh, look at this. How about the coal car? That's a rectangle right there. Uh, oh, guess what? I just found another rectangle. How about, look at those, the t two ties and the two rails make a rectangle right there. How about a triangle? Can you see a triangle in this photograph? Well, I found one, it's sort of sneaky. A triangle, how about the cow catcher right on the front here? Okay, there we've got a triangle. I can't find any ovals on there and hmm, I can't find any squares, so I'm gonna leave that one up to you. Can you find on the train rectangles, squares, circles, ovals, and triangles? You might wanna start off by looking around your house. How many rectangles, squares, circles, ovals, and triangles can you find in your living room or your bedroom? or maybe even the kitchen. Challenge your parents. And I, on the activity sheet, there's a chart where you can check off the items that you find on the train or in your house. Geometric shapes, really cool.